These people that are making all these laws, I think they ought to wake up. The SAFE Act is firing up Western New York gun owners. About 200 people packed the Clarence Public Library today to learn about the state's new tough gun laws. News 4's Emily Gugamus joins us now with more on this meeting. Emily? Don, you're right. The New York SAFE Act has a lot of people fired up, and that was very evident at a meeting held in Clarence today as hundreds showed up, many there to challenge state officials on the law. Questions. It may have been a meeting intended for questions and answers about the new restrictions with the New York SAFE Act, but it turned out to be anything but. Yes, Our constitutional rights, God given. Let me answer. Sir, do you have a question about. No, it, listen. It, 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 no. If you give me a minute, I'll answer the question. One concern members of the New York State Police and Division of Criminal Justice Services were asked over and over again by those in attendance. Would their weapon now be considered an assault weapon? You guys are calling these semi automatics assault weapons. Now, obviously, the guy that made the laws have never served in the military. I did assault weapons with a fully automatic weapon, so I don't know what that is. And what would happen if they didn't follow the new law? What is the penalty if you do not register it? Because I guarantee you there's a lot of people that aren't going to. And then your next question was, am I going to get arrested? And I'm telling you that I can't answer that question. It would be up to the police officer you encountered in the situation you encountered them, and they would have to make it decide. The calls, the emails, it's almost nonstop and has been. Uh, you know, since Cuomo signed the bill. Meanwhile, the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association filed a claim with the state on Tuesday, expressing its intentions to sue. We obviously believe that Cuomo's gun law is blatantly unconstitutional. It is very poorly written, and some of our lawyers have had trouble even digesting it. And this is the claim filed by New York State Rifle and Pistol Association. If you want to take a look for yourself at this claim, we posted it on our website, wivb.com. Reporting live, Emily Guggenmas for the 10 o'clock news.